What's up guys? Corbin with the Wasatch Gear Review. I've got an awesome piece of kit that I'm going to preview today. Stay tuned. So this, my friends, is the Mountain Smith Tor Lumbar Pack. It's a pretty sweet unit. I have it strapped on my shoulder at the moment just to show you guys this mode that this pack can be in. We're going to dive a little deeper into it and get you a little closer to it. Just kind of wanted to show you here. I'm going to flip it into the lumbar um, formation, if that's what you want to call it, and show you guys that. So we're going to start by detaching the shoulder strap there. The Mountain Smith Tor Lumbar Pack. So I'm going to pull out the waist belt. I will strap it to my back and I'll give you guys a 360. Now we're going to dive into it. So first off guys, I just want to go through everything on it and give you a tour of the tour. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you got a handle here. It's a dual handle, so you can hold it just like a briefcase if you wanted to. Um, as you saw before, it's got the shoulder strap and it's got clips on the end of the shoulder strap and you just slide those right on in on both sides and now you have a shoulder strap to hang off your shoulder I definitely like that option of having that um, I also want to show you how nice this padding is and how ventilated it is it's a very nice shoulder strap padding Now onto the pack. So let's start with the front of the pack, guys. First off, we have this shock cord on the front, which I like this feature. It's a nice feature. Um, I'm sure you could put a wet rain jacket through there and cinch it down. Um, you could cinch, it, cinch in a tripod uh, for your camera. Many different uses for this uh, front shock cord and it does have an adjuster so you can tighten it down back and forth also on the front of the pack you have I love I love these zippers too um, they are YKK zippers and I love these huge uh, I don't even know what to call them um, I guess it's a, a tab a grab a grab tab, if, if you would. Um, zippers are YKK. They, they run real nice, they don't get caught up. So in the front small pocket you have a place to hang your keys, a key clip, so you don't lose those and they're not just, uh, you know, flying around inside the pocket. It is a pretty good size front pocket, hopefully you guys can, can see that pretty decent sized front pocket. <clears throat> uh, we'll go to the right side of the pack if you are wearing it, left side if you're looking at it. Up top they have a very nice compression strap that hooks all the way down to your waist belt there. So if you've got a heavy load in here you can cinch it down and keep it up against your body, up against your back. Also, they have these really huge mesh pockets with another um, shock cord 
for tightening down whatever you put in there. Um, and it'll actually close up completely. I can only get my finger through there now. In case you want to put gear in there that may fall out. Um, so that's a great option to have these shock cords on the, uh, on the water bottle pockets. Um, you do have water bottle, water bottle pockets on both sides with the com uh, compression strap on this side also. Uh, it also has the shock cord with adjustment on this side. So you have two water bottle, bottle pockets. I cannot speak today. When can I ever speak though? I have a cold guys and I apologize completely for that. Um, so yeah, we will go to the main compartment now, which is a double zip. So you have two zippers either way. And like I said, these do not get snagged guys. They, they roll nice. I think, I want to say these are number seven, or may even be number six um, zippers. So they're really big teeth on the zippers, and really big zippers that just, just make it really nice to, uh, to open and close. There's no snagging at all. Now on the inside of the main compartment, I like how they've made it organized, you know, uh, so you can, so you can, uh, I can't even think right now. It's being, I'm, being, I'm being a pain in the butt, I know. Um, they make it very organizational. Is that even a word? Probably not. <clears throat> but inside here, you can see this little flap. It's actually an accessory zippered pocket. For small items or personal effects, or maybe uh, your ring, if you're a rock climber, take your ring off, put it in there, and you can zip it up. So it's just not floating around the bag, just like I like that they have the key clip, so they're not floating around the bag. Um, then you have just the main open pocket, the huge open pocket. Also, behind that, so you've got the huge pocket, and then there's another divider pocket for a, uh, now I don't know if it's going to fit, because I have a keyboard attached to this tablet and a case. Well, let's just see. I've never had anything in this pack yet. So it is too small to hold that. But I'm assuming if I was to take my tablet out, It fits right in there perfectly. So I like that. It's got a nice little tab tablet, padded tablet pocket to hold your tablet. Guys, this can be used for hiking, for a briefcase, for a small diaper bag. Um, I mean, really, <clears throat> the uses for this guy are endless, and I cannot wait to get it out in the field and uh, start using it for you guys so I can do a uh, review on it. This is just the preview of the item. I'm just showing it to you, showing it off a little bit. One of the other things I really like about it is, excuse me again, back here in this tablet pocket, it has a small opening in the back, so you can feed uh, headphones through that. Um, I would even venture to say that you could throw a one liter um, platypus in here and run your drinking hose through here. Now, I don't know if the hose would reach. Probably not. Um, they don't make those hoses long enough, but I'm sure you can go out to a hardware store, find that same diameter size hosing, cut yourself a nice long piece that would reach up uh, to your mouth. Not designed for that though, guys. They designed this for uh, headphones. So anyway, that's the inside of the pack, guys. <clears throat> There's a few other things that I want to show you on this pack that I like about it. So not only do you have these top compression straps to drag it towards you and towards your hip belt, you also have 
trying to pop my, pop my ears, guys. I am really, I've got this cold and it's kicking my butt. Um, you have bottom compression straps, guys, okay? So if you've got very little in here, or even a lot, you can pull that weight towards the bottom of the lumbar pack, where it sits against your back at the bottom. Also, I love this, because this is going to be my day pack, guys. I'm going to start using this lumbar pack as my day pack. And, uh, you know, if I'm climbing up some steep stuff, just like the other day, I don't know if you guys um, watched the uh, Secret Lake or an, and Devil's Castle day hike, but um, <clears throat> with my, well, let me grab it for you. So with my REI uh, 18 liter pack that I use for my day pack, <clears throat> when I started climbing up Devil's Castle, because this has a small waist belt on it, I had just, uh, I have tri-fold leaky trekking poles, and so I just folded them down, and I stuffed them in, and they just were like hanging on my side, basically like you would put a, a sword on a, on a scabbard. Um, and it, it worked all right, I've got to say, but when I was trail running down, they kept falling out, being a pain in the butt. And um, while at work, I kind of had to hold them in place as I was jogging down the trail. So that wasn't the best option for me. Um, and I think you guys can know where I'm going with this, but I can break down my trekking poles because I have the trifold now. If you had just the the like black diamonds, um, I've done a review on the black diamond trekking poles where they just slide down. They're a bit longer. You could get those in here, but you're going to have to you know watch out for the length uh, hitting trees or brush and throwing you off balance. Uh, with my leaky tri folding. Uh, trekking poles, I can stick these in here lengthwise, cinch them down. They're only going to come out just a hair past the pack. I love this option. Absolutely love this option. There's a lot of different things you could do with this too. You could put a tripod in there again. Um, all kinds of stuff. My one man, I have a quarter dome uh, one man REI tent that would fit I could I could get it to fit in here they've made these straps long enough to where I could stuff that tent in there so you know if I had a like my down quilt that I'm going to be doing a preview on here pretty soon um, it's in one of my other videos Packard Lake um, uh, multi-night adventure um, you know I could take that down quilt and stuff it in here and it would fit in just one side of this now I wouldn't be able to really get a well you know I might be able to get a, a, a lightweight sleeping pad stuffed into here and strapped in so I mean really if I wanted to go on an overnight adventure which I may try here in the future just to see if I can do it see if this pack can handle it um, try to see if I can fit enough gear in here to do a quick overnight I almost think I could do it, but I'm not quite sure. So, uh, what else, guys? Let me show you this waist belt system. It is so darn comfortable for being a just a lumbar pack. It's almost ridiculous how comfortable it is. Um... One of the other really sweet features I like about this pack is it has a stash pocket right behind the lumbar uh, padded backrest. I love that. Um, if you're taking this as a carry-on bag in a plane, your passport can go in there, your wallet could go in here, some extra cash, and you know, no one's going to know it's there. If, uh, you know, if something was to happen, you know, you can have a few bucks in one of these other pockets, hand it to them, and your main stash of money is back in this back pocket. I love that feature, Mountain Smith. You are geniuses for thinking about it. Absolutely. I'm absolutely in love with this pack, and I haven't even got to use it yet. So we'll see. I guess I could uh, fall out of love with it, depending on how comfortable it is. Um, 
how it holds the weight that I put in it, I don't know yet. One other feature that I really, really like about this pack, guys, is they have a the belt zipper pocket, and it is it is huge. You definitely can fit a, I'm sure a Note, a uh, Galaxy Note would fit in here. My um, S7 Edge will definitely fit in here with, with some room to spare. Now, on the other side, they did not put a pocket. Um, they could have put two pockets on here, no problem whatsoever, and given you extra space for carrying snacks or whatnot. Mountain Smith, on your next 2017 model, I'd like to see another uh, zippered pocket. I mean, it can't cost too much more, and you get a little bit more space to put stuff. So, guys, really, that's... That's all that there is to this Mountain Smith Tor lumbar pack. I think it's an awesome buy. Your price point is right around 80 bucks. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Let's get into some specs. Oh, yeah, also, <clears throat> real quick, while we're talking about it, you can buy for this pack, which is unfortunately sold separately, but, you know, sometimes that is the way it is. They call it, they call it uh, strapettes. And what it does is I'm pretty sure it hooks into these hooks where your shoulder strap is removed from. And then you also have, if you guys can see, these little metal D-rings on either side of the pack here. It hooks to these, and I'm pretty sure these and it actually comes up the back of your back and crosses in the middle and up over and down. Um, I think it goes back under your shoulders, so it comes up and then back down. And I think that's where it hooks into these. I could be wrong. But I'm going to purchase those just so I can carry a little bit more weight than you normally would be able to without them because then it is going to keep it up on your shoulders a little better. Um, I have seen a couple reviews out there, or read, ex not seen, excuse me, uh, heard a couple reviews or read a couple reviews that uh, said if you get too much weight in this, that the uh, belt isn't mounted high enough. So see how you have quite a bit of room. You have no room below you and quite a bit of room above you. I've read that it can start pulling away from your back, but you know, with the strapettes, I don't see that being a problem at all. Um, I see it holding it up upright on your back. So, you know, you might have to spend the extra, I think it's um, 25 to 30 bucks for the strapettes. But all in all, guys, I am digging this pack so far. I'm gonna get it out in the field very soon and uh, give it a shot. I'm very excited to have it. So yeah, it's exciting. New gear is always exciting, love it. Let's get into some specs, guys. Water bottle holders will hold up to a 32 fluid ounce bottle. I'm sure it would even hold the taller smart water bottles and I would venture to say, I haven't tried it yet, but they are, it is a stretchy material. I think you could get, you know, a, a Gatorade bottle in there. Not the thin ones, but the big fat ones. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so don't quote me on it. Um, a couple of the other stuff, it is made out of Cordura fabric. Right there, you got your logo, Cordura logo. Um, it is made out of 610 denier HP Cordura nylon, which is a very tough fabric. It is puncture resistant, tear resistant, uh, abrasion resistant. It is very tough, tough material, guys. So here we go on the specifications. Best use is for hiking, even though you can use this in a million different ways. It is a frameless lumbar pack, does not have a frame in it. The gear capacity is nine liters, 
which is uh, 550 cubic inches. The weight on this without the strapettes is one pound, 8.9 ounces, or 707 grams. The uh, waist belt fits a waist size of 28 to 48 inches. Materials used is the 610 denier HP Cordura nylon. Number of exterior pockets is three plus the main compartment. The dimensions of it is 11 and a half by 10 by five inches. Uh, pack access, of course, as you saw here, is a top access pack. Um, it is a unisex pack, so it will work for women and men. It's not gender specific. So there you go, guys. That is my preview of the Mountain Smith Tour Lumbar Pack. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Be safe and adventure on.